Hey everybody, it's Scott, Triple S Drywall, doing a Southern style here in Katy, Texas. I'm gonna show y'all how to mix for a very light orange peel. Um, and I'm gonna show you a little trick uh, called screening it. So I'm using uh, soquete, which is uh, Spanish for mud, essentially. It's an all-purpose mud. I would suggest do not use lightweight mud because it tends to fish eye in your texture. So just a Dewalt drill and a small paint paddle. It's a small area we're spraying, so I'm mixing a little bit of mud. If, if I had a you know a bigger job, I would use a whole bucket and a bigger paddle, or maybe even a five a 55 gallon drum if you're doing a whole house. So, anyways, I got about a third of a box of mud in here. I'm gonna add some water. The key for a light orange peel is really to get it loose. Let's see here. If we can get the drill right. So you just want to mix up really thoroughly and the key is really to get it kind of loose um, depending on how thin you want the mud you can or how thin you want your texture you can I've, I've thinned it down to almost water at certain times just a little bit thicker it's a little bit less than a medium orange peel I would say so I'm gonna get it almost basically like pancake batter straight mud and just add water to it Bigger paddle is a lot faster. We get it real nice and loose. Consistent mix. And then this is really the key to keep trash. I mean, all mud dries and you have trash in it and so on. So what I do is actually screen it. So this is just a bucket top I cut a hole in and I, I stapled some just regular screen to. Put that on a bucket. Get up kind of high, depending on how thick it is. As you can see, you can see a bunch of chunks in here. This gets all of that out and gets it nice and smooth, so you don't have any trash in your mud. So if you want a lighter orange peel, see all the trash. A lot of people don't screen it. If you screen it, you're gonna have those big chunks. And if it's too thick to go through there, it's too thick for a light orange peel. So we got one wall inside, um, customer of mine's house here in, in Houston, and uh, just replaced the drywall around the fireplace. So we're gonna crank up the compressor and I'll see you inside. So we're back in here. As you can see, I got this wall already finished. If you're going up against uh, an existing texture, I'll take a wet sponge and sponge that in so you don't have a heavy edge there. Um, this is a craft hopper. It's my favorite. If you look, it's got five different holes on the setting. So all you do is untwist, untwist, and then turn, and then tighten to whatever hole you want. I've got it to the second to last, which is about a medium, um, from a small to a medium hole. So focus in on there. So if you look real close, you can see the texture. It's just a real light light to medium orange peel and that's what we're going to do so we mixed our mud already i got my mud here i poured in the hopper and it's a small area so it's gonna be real hard to to demonstrate completely but the way i like to do it is what i call a figure eight and you got to keep moving just don't stop on the wall and just keep moving so here we go i usually fill the hopper about halfway it's not that much to do and obviously make sure everything all your surrounding area is covered up real good so here we go get loud a little bit times I like to cross spray if you notice I did a figure eight and then I'll just do a little light cross spray There 
it is. So a little figure eight is what I like to do. And that gets you a nice even pet, uh, you know, a pattern on the wall. And then when you get to your edges, if you have existing orange peel, I like to kind of dot it up a little bit and then spray a little bit outside to help blend that line. That's it. Like, subscribe, comments. If y'all need anything in particular, hit me up on my email.